After Sydney not wanting to offend other cultures by putting up Christmas lights. After hearing that the state of South Australia changed its opinion and let a Muslim woman have her picture on her driver's licence with her face covered. This prompted this editorial written by an Australian citizen, published in an Australian newspaper. Quote, Immigrants, not Australians, must adapt. Take it or leave it. I'm tired of this nation worrying about whether we are offending some individual or their culture. Since the terrorist attacks on Bali, we have experienced a surge in patriotism by the majority of Australians. However, the dust from the attacks had barely settled when the politically correct crowd began complaining about the possibility that our patriotism was offending others. I am not against immigration, nor do I hold a grudge against anyone who is seeking a better life by coming to Australia. However, there are a few things that those who have recently come to our country, and apparently some born here, need to understand. This idea of Australia being a multicultural community has served only to dilute our sovereignty and our national identity. As Australians, we have our own culture, our own society, our own language and our own lifestyle. This culture has been developed over two centuries of struggles, trials and victories by millions of men and women who have sought freedom. We speak English, not Spanish, Lebanese, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, Russian or any other language. Therefore, if you wish to become part of our society, learn the language. In God We Trust is our national motto. This is not some Christian right-wing political slogan. We adopted this motto because Christian men and women on Christian principles founded this nation, and this is clearly documented. It is certainly appropriate to display it on walls of our schools. If God offends you, then I suggest you consider another part of the world as your new home, because God is part of our culture. If the Southern Cross offends you, or you don't like it, or you don't like a fair go, then you should seriously consider a move to another part of this planet. We are happy with our culture and have no desire to change, and we really don't care how you did things where you came from. This is our country, our land and our lifestyle, and we will allow you every opportunity to enjoy all of this. But once you are done complaining, whinging and griping about our flag, our pledge, our national motto or our way of life, I highly encourage you to take advantage of one of other great Australian freedom. The right to leave. If you aren't happy here, then move on. We didn't force you to come here. You asked to be here, so accept the country you accepted. Pretty easy, really, when you think about it.